Welcome back to Don Zyke. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. You know what would complement these nice EGR fender flares is EGR's Roll Track Electric retractable bed cover that we're going to install on my GMC Sierra AT4. Let's go. Now this install has five main steps to it that I'm gonna show you in varying degrees. But first, let's start with the unboxing. Okay, everything is unpacked. As you can see here, nothing is damaged. It was all packed very, very nicely. Nothing seems to be missing, which is a really good starting point. Now, if you are going to do this install, make sure that you look at the instruction manual to check to see if you have all the supplies needed to get this job done. Now, professional installation is recommended, so you might wanna look into that as well. Now, we got the bed all nice and clean so we can start getting the prep done before we start putting everything together and getting it all assembled. So we're gonna to have to drill some holes for these drain hoses on both sides. We're gonna to take out the tail lights to do that. Now any holes that we drill, we're going to use a, a paint marker. What you want to do is any exposed metal, you want to deburr it and then seal it so it's not going to rest on you. So we got that covered. And then we have to put some mounting points in the existing bed rails so we can put the new roll track bed rails on, which by the way, this cover has a special feature that I feel is completely understated. And you're going to have to stick around and watch this video to find out what I'm talking about. So let's go.
Well, there we go. The bed is all prepped. I kind of went a little bit out of order compared to what the instructions tell me to do because when I was rust sealing, I wanted that to dry up first before I put the drain hoses in. But we're pretty much ready for electrical. Let's go. All right, it is the next morning. We are going to run the electrical today, but you might've noticed in the previous segment that I did not put silicone along the bed rail caps. That's part of the installation, but I chose not to because if I wrap the truck, I need the vinyl to get in and tuck under there a little bit. Now there is a natural slope to your bed rail, so I don't think I'm gonna get water penetration up in there, but water can really get anywhere. I'm not too worried about it. That was my choice of the install, but I did put the silicone up at the front, up near the cab, because I don't wrap in that area right there. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the electrical. This needs to be run from the battery through the firewall under the passenger glove box there, all under the dashboard, over to the body control module inside the truck here. And then we have to run from the battery under the cab over to this area here and have the wiring come through one of these holes where we pulled out those plugs. So the electrical is gonna come out here where it will connect to the new box cover. Okay, we're ready to run our harness. This is for the battery and the ground, which we'll do momentarily. But first, I wanna pass this through the firewall. Now we could use some warm soapy water to pass it through. This little rubber grommet that sticks out here, you can see some wires shaking there. I'm actually going to use this wire for my interior lights. I have some ambient lighting that's hooked up to my aux beam switch. But now that I have upfitter switches on the interior, I'm gonna plug this into there. So I'm gonna use this wire to help pull these ones through and then we have to run them over to the driver's side uh, to the BCM so we can do all of our connections. Then we'll hook up the battery and then we have to run this under the cab all the way to the box. Tell you this, a mix of soap and water really does help pull that through. Now we're gonna drop this harness down along the firewall and there's a main conduit of wiring that goes all the way down the side of the cab. We're going to feed that through that area and use zip ties all the way along to hold it in place. Then we're gonna cross over to the driver's side of the box and then go up to where this feeds through the bed and this uh, helps seal it up. And I'll connect the battery while I'm here. Okay, we got the electrical done. That gets us to about 75% of the way complete. We have to assemble the roll track cover now. One of the steps that we have to do is use some tape and fold back the seal in these rails here, just so they're not in the way when we start to assemble everything. But I'm excited because we are almost there. Let's go. I guess I didn't need to tape it all the way along, just up at the start.
That thing's pretty heavy. Definitely get some help when you need to lift it into the truck. Now we have forest fires in the province next to us. So you can see it's really hazy and smoky out there. Plus the lighting with the garage door open doesn't really do well for the box. So I'm gonna close this, have the truck pulled in, and then we'll do the calibration and test this thing out. We're getting so close. So this jig here allows us to measure diagonally that the box is equal distance and it's perfect. So now I can tighten up all of the bolts underneath these rails, torque them to spec. So I think we're good. I'll tighten it all down. We'll hook up the drains, put in the fuses, and then give it a test. Okay, now we gotta crawl into the bed. I gotta pull the cover out, and there's two inspection ports right there. I gotta take those covers off, and we gotta use some plastic and rubber safe silicone spray, and just make sure that the internals are lubricated. And then we'll put the fuses in, and we'll do the calibration. Now let's plug in these fuses and turn the power on. All right, we got power, or we should have power. We are going to do the calibration sequence. That requires us to hold down these two buttons here or on the other side. The clutch has to be pulled out to engage the motor. Trap has to be open, tailgate open, driver's door open, vehicle is unlocked. Let's hold these down for 15 seconds and see what happens. It should open and close a couple times and that LED down there should blink. Okay, it looks like it's done. I should be able to control it now with the switch. One touch comes all the way back. Well, I think that calibration went exactly as planned. I'm gonna go use it for a little bit, get some impressions, and I'll come back and share them with you. All right, I'm back. It's been a couple rainy days, but I've had a chance to use the roll track. Let's go over some of the features together. First off, what's it made out of? Well, this is a heavy duty aluminum constructed electric box cover. It is aluminum, so the magnets won't stick to it. These are not plastic caps. This is all aluminum construction, making it very, very strong. This will easily support a couple hundred pounds in weight. Don't stand on it, but if you had to lay some goods on here, up to a couple hundred pounds, no problem, it'll take it. You might even hear this referred to as a smart box cover. Not only does it integrate with your BCM, but it works based on your lock and unlocking of the vehicle. Lock, no function. Unlock, function. We can control it from either side and we can stop it anywhere we want by pushing either button. You might have some safety concerns, but don't worry, they got you covered. Just close this up on my foot. So now you know the motor is not going to jam or hurt anybody. Now compared to my old flip cover, I actually have more headroom too. The front canister uses less space than some other designs and has a slope on each side to allow for more effective drainage. So similarly to the flip cover, this also blocks off a portion of bed space here, but the difference is I don't have panels blocking the back window which I think this is a nicer look and more usable. The canister construction is also heavy duty to resist impacts. It's not gonna crack on you the first time something bangs into it. Each of these aluminum slats 
They have an interlocking design with a weather stripping in between, making this watertight. With this design, the sleekness here, water sheets off the top, I've used it in the rain. Any water that falls into here, exits through that gutter channel there. And then we have all the drainage tubes, whether it be in the canister or the bed rail, it can exit and go onto the ground. So earlier in the video, I talked about a feature that I think is completely understated. Now I went down this road before where I was looking for a box cover with security that would allow me to still look at adding accessories such as a sport bar or bed rails. And I had a hard time really finding anything that made sense or would look good. Well, now my search is over because these bed rails are meant for some universal accessories. Now they don't have those specific things that I mentioned today available for this box, but they might be in the works or they are in the works. I'm not gonna say too much, but definitely go check out EGR site because you'll see what I'm talking about because there are some offerings for some other vehicles. But if something comes available for this, well, stick around, you just have to see what we have in store. Now there's one thing this doesn't have that I kind of wish that it did. And it's an oversight on my part because in previous videos, I hinted at the fact that I thought it did have it, but this model does not have side LED lights for the cargo. So the cargo lighting that we're seeing in here is actually insufficient. That LED light that comes with that assembly there for the motor, that's only used as far as I know for when we're doing the calibration, it'll blink and let us know how things are going. But it does not seem to be lighting up my cargo even at night. So I'm gonna have to add some lights back in, but luckily I know a guy who can do that. I will link EGR's information in the video description below, and I will certainly keep you posted as accessory options become available, but definitely check out EGR's site. They've got a lot to offer already, but definitely come and check back here for whatever else might be coming. So I think this is a good spot to wrap things up. If you like this video, please support the channel and hit that like button, share it with others. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing, and we'll talk to you next time.